Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nate Doobie, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. On today's episode, we are going to be discussing Modified Atmosphere Packaging, also known as MAP. So without further ado, let's get down to today's topic. All right, so kicking off today's episode, we must ask the question, what is Modified Atmosphere Packaging, which again is also known as MAP? MAP is the manipulation of the atmosphere inside of a packaged food. In example, beef, pork, chicken, or fish. The goal of the process being to increase the shelf life of the product contained within. MAP improves the shelf life and freshness of many foods. These include cheese, meats, fish, and other perishable food items. These foods are commonly packaged with oxygen, which is removed via modified atmosphere packaging. What other benefits does MAP offer to the discerning consumer? What are the pros and cons? In today's episode, we will explore these questions. However, the first question we must ask ourselves is, how does modified atmosphere packaging work? Oxygen produces lipid oxidation reactions. It also causes high respiration rates in fruit and vegetables. High respiration rates are to blame for shortened shelf life. The presence of oxygen encourages the growth of aerobic spoilage. The potential formation of other unwanted microorganisms may also occur. By reducing oxygen and replacing it with other gases, we can reduce or delay unwanted reactions. To change the atmosphere of a package, the oxygen contained within must be reduced or removed. The MAP process lowers the volume of oxygen contained within the empty space of the packaging containing the product. Oxygen is often replaced with other gases. If you would like to see a video demonstration of how this process works, click on the link in the description, go down about one-eighth of the page, and click on the video that says Modified Atmosphere. To dig deeper down into this process, here is some information from lindygas.com. Mapax gas mixtures usually consist of the normal atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide, or CO2, nitrogen, or N2, and oxygen, or O2. Microbial growth can also be inhibited to a certain extent with the help of other gases such as nitrous oxide, or N2O, argon, or AR, and hydrogen, or H2. These gases can be applied individually or mixed according to specific ratios. CO2, for instance, is most effective in inhibiting microorganisms such as mold and other common aerobic bacteria. It does this by dissolving into the food's liquid and fat phase, thereby reducing its pH value. It also penetrates biological membranes, causing changes in permeability and function. As an inert gas, nitrogen is primarily used to replace oxygen in packaging, thereby preventing oxidation. Owing to its low solubility in water, nitrogen also helps to prevent package collapse by maintaining internal volume. Okay, moving on, we will discuss stabilization. Stabilizing the atmosphere of the gases contained inside the package is possible by using active actions. These actions include gas flushing and compensated vacuuming. The process can also be achieved by utilizing breathable shrink wraps or films. Okay, now we will discuss the pros and cons of modified atmosphere packaging, starting with the pros of modified atmosphere packaging. Modified atmosphere packaging allows natural and non-processed food to be packaged in a way that extends the shelf life of the product. This increases the quality of the product's image and texture, as well as the appeal of its nutrition. The contained atmosphere within the package provides the product with an extended availability. As MAP does not need chemicals to preserve the freshness of the product, it has greater appeal. The processing and marketing of foods is enhanced due to the modified atmosphere packaging. MAP provides the consumer with fresh and delicious foods. These foods often exceed the customer's expectations. When it comes to brand awareness, consistent quality, and fresh products, MAP technology is a true win-win. Consumers and food companies alike seem to enjoy the benefits of modified atmosphere packaging. Here is a quick recap of the pros of modified atmosphere packaging. Longer shelf life, enhanced visual appeal, stays fresh longer, no chemical preservatives, long lasting flavor preservation, and sustained nutritional content. It should be noted that the pros of modified atmosphere packaging are particularly interesting to retailers and suppliers. Extending the shelf life of various products is appealing to consumers. Map packaging gives processors of natural and non-processed foods an upper hand on their supply chain. Fresh food means less rotation of packages. This means much less waste. Excess human labor is reduced, especially when using collaborative robots. Next up, we have the cons of modified atmosphere packaging. When it comes to the downsides of MAP, one of the major concerns is cost. There are cheaper ways to package food. When health and freshness are not major concerns, process alternatives can save money. The American market and demand for heavily processed foods is continually growing. Many consumers demand food loaded with salt, fat, and lots of added sugars. 
retailers can cut costs by offering these process alternatives to their customers. That being said, the technologies of MAP are evolving over time. Healthier, fresher food products made possible by MAP will be able to compete in cost with their process counterparts as time goes on. However, a growing segment of the American consumer base is shifting towards healthier MAP packaged foods. Okay, before moving on, here's a quick recap of Modified Atmosphere Packaging Cons. More expensive, less consumer base, complicated to package, and high level of quality assurance required. Alright, now we're going to address the most important question about Modified Atmosphere Packaging, which is, is Modified Atmosphere Packaging safe? As the saying goes, safety first. MAP is not to be considered a fail-safe when it comes to food safety. While MAP allows for longer shelf life and can prevent certain types of spoilage, it is not guaranteed. Some foods packaged with MAP may actually result in additional risk. MAP may allow for the formation of pathogenic organisms. There is a host of possible contamination issues with pathogens. MAP packaged produce is particularly at risk in this respect. However, while these risks do exist, actual cases are few and far between. They have been found to be rather uncommon since the inception and the use of modified atmosphere packaging. With that in mind, let's take a look at this information from Food Safety Magazine. MAP and other forms of reduced oxygen packaging minimize the activities of spoilage organisms that normally give warning about potentially unsafe conditions. Concerns about modified atmosphere packaging are well founded because of the potential for growth of anaerobic or facultative anaerobic bacteria such as Clostridia. Now Clostridia could cause food poisoning before food spoilage was organoleptically detectable. Reduced oxygen packaging contributes to the potential of botulism caused by Clostridium botulinum and other pathogens by providing greater time and opportunity for outgrowth. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has been working in concert with the Institute of Food Technologists and recently published a report titled Analysis and Evaluation of Preventative Control Measures for the Control and Reduction or Elimination of Microbial Hazards on Fresh and Fresh Cut Produce. In this study, it is noted that although only two MAP produce products, coleslaw mix and ready-to-eat salad vegetables, have been implicated in foodborne illness outbreaks to date, botulism and salmonella, the potential for growth of pathogens is quite significant, especially in the fresh-cut produce industry. And now we come to the conclusion of today's episode. The technology behind MAP is giving rise to the availability of fresh fish, cage-free chicken, grass-fed beef, and fresh produce. These products are being given prime shelf space. This allows for them to show off their visually appealing superior quality. Many Americans choose the lowest cost and cheapest offerings in order to save money. But we will see the battle between fresh, healthy options and cheap processed products continue to evolve. The millennial generation continues to grow into adulthood, as do their buying habits. As the baby boomers move further into retirement, changes in how and what people buy are sure to come down the line. MAP products are displaying beautiful, delicious, and nutritious foods on more shelf spaces. As such, we may see a shift in purchasing of said products. As the price points come into range of their processed counterparts, MAP may win out in the long term. As we see MAP coupled with other technologies such as smart packaging and augmented reality, it is fair to say that modified atmosphere packaging has a bright future in the modern marketplace. Well everybody, that does it for yet another episode of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nathan Doobie, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. I really appreciate you tuning in and I hope you do for the next episode where we will be discussing the different types of frozen food packaging. But until then, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next episode.